I'm alive. Hello and welcome back to the Immortal News Family. In today's heartfelt video, we bring to you the latest updates on the passing of some truly remarkable individuals within the last 24 hours. As a part of the Immortal News Family, we are committed to honoring and remembering those who have made a lasting impact in our lives and the world. If this video touches your heart, or if the stories of these extraordinary people have moved you, please show your respect and remembrance by giving this video a thumbs up. Thank you for joining us in this moment of reflection and tribute. Number 9. Lisa Murphy, a model and television personality known for her warmth and grace, died at the age of 51 after a courageous fight with cancer. Lisa's legacy is one of love, resilience, and quiet fortitude as she faced life's hardships. She was known for her warmth, charm, and genuine caring for everyone she met. Despite being a well-known figure in the media, she respected her solitude, especially throughout her sickness, and approached her path with calm resolve and elegance. Her relationships, particularly with Gerald Keane and Michael Flatley, were distinguished by moments of joy and companionship, demonstrating her ability to form strong connections and her steadfast spirit even in the face of personal anguish. Her ordeal in 2011, when she was subjected to a frightening robbery, demonstrated her fortitude and tenacity, qualities that identified her as much as her public persona. However, it was Lisa's return to simplicity, the delight she found in life's simple pleasures, and her devotion to her family that truly captured the essence of who she was at heart, a person of tremendous depth, resilience, and infinite love. Friends, relatives, and everyone she knew are devastated by her death. Her story teaches us the value of cherishing the small moments, the strength of resilience, and the beauty of living with grace and love. Tributes to Lisa Murphy. Number 8. Earl Curtin, a beloved member in the Detroit basketball community and beyond, died at the age of 66. His journey from Detroit's playgrounds to the heights of the NBA is the narrative of a guy who stayed true to his roots and dedicated his life to the game he loved. He was a standout at the University of Detroit and a key member of the Detroit Pistons, and his legacy is defined by his unrelenting dedication to his community and the game of basketball. Throughout his professional career, he distinguished himself not just as a talented player, but also as a cherished teammate and mentor. His honors, which include two NBA titles with the Philadelphia 76ers and Houston Rockets, highlight his contributions on the court. However, it was as a Pistons community ambassador that he truly made his impact, working relentlessly to bring basketball and hope to Detroit streets. His commitment to study, obtaining his degree to fulfill a promise to his mother, and later work as a broadcaster, demonstrated his many contributions to the sport and his community. His autobiography, Earl the Twirl, My Life in Basketball, documents his career and emphasizes the value of being a good teammate on and off the court. His uniform retirement by Detroit Mercy, as well as his induction into the athletic halls of fame at both Detroit Mercy and Robert Morris, highlight his enormous impact on basketball at all levels. While we grieve his departure, we also celebrate the life of a guy who was, above all, a wonderful human being, beloved by teammates, fans, and the community. Tributes to Earl Curtin. Number 7. Helena Rojo, a shining star in Mexican acting and modeling, died at the age of 79 after a courageous battle with cancer. She was born in Mexico City, Mexico, and went on to become one of the most recognized names in Latin American cinema and television. She began her modeling career in 1961 and turned to acting in the late 1960s under the mentorship of renowned Mexican directors Carlos Anchira and José Luis Ibáñez. Her versatility and talent led to her acting in a wide range of roles in film, television, and theater, making her a household name. Her outstanding performances were not limited to Mexican cinema, 
She acquired international fame by collaborating with world-renowned filmmakers such as Werner Herzog, Klaus Kinski, Charlotte Rampling, Peter O'Toole, and Max von Sydow. Her performances in the critically acclaimed film Aguirre, The Wrath of God, and the dramedy series Ugly Betty demonstrated her ability to cross cultural and linguistic boundaries, endearing her to fans all over the world. Rojo's dedication to her craft, as well as her ability to play a diverse range of roles with depth and authenticity, inspired aspiring actresses all around the world. Her legacy goes beyond her film credits. She was a symbol of grace, courage, and resilience both on and off screen. We memorialize her life and achievements while also celebrating the lasting impression she left on the entertainment industry. Tributes to Helena Rojo. Number 6. Bill Lackman, known for his dedication and passion in the game of baseball, died at the age of 89. His time with the Los Angeles Angels, particularly as a bullpen coach under his brother Marcel Lackman, was more than simply a career. It represented a lifelong commitment to the game he loved. Bill's philosophy that coaching was more than simply a job but a passion permeated throughout the Angels organization, affecting future generations of players. Even at the late age of 84, his passion for baseball never wavered as he worked as the Angels' roaming catching coach. His presence on the field frequently before anybody else demonstrated his unrivaled work ethic and enthusiasm for baseball. This dedication was not overlooked, with former Angels manager Mike Sciascia praising Lockerman's early beginnings and the respect he commanded from players and coaches alike. His coaching style, which emphasized a strong yet understandable approach, demonstrated his understanding of player development. His approach of quizzing catchers on pitch charts was not only about learning the game's technical components, but also about encouraging a deep intellectual engagement with each pitch. The baseball community mourns the passing of a true icon, whose services to the Angels and the sport as a whole have left an everlasting legacy. His legacy extends beyond the games he won or the players he coached to the innumerable lives he touched with his excitement, knowledge, and generosity. Tributes to Bill Leckerman. Number 5. Keith King, a prominent figure in Colorado politics and education, passed away at the age of 75. His public service career included substantial tenures in both the Colorado House of Representatives and the Colorado Senate, as well as impactful work on the Colorado Springs City Council. He left a legacy of commitment to the values of governance, education, and community development. He began his career as an educator and coach, but his enthusiasm for teaching and leadership eventually drove him into politics, where he served with distinction from 1999 to 2006 in the House and later the Senate. As majority leader and temporary governor, he displayed unrelenting dedication to Colorado's growth, leading charter school and education legislation that had a lasting impact on the state's educational environment. His efforts were acknowledged with multiple accolades, including Legislator of the Year, from both the Colorado Springs Chamber of Commerce and the Economic Development Council of Colorado. Aside from politics, he was a successful businessman and education advocate, having founded Colorado Early College's Colorado Springs and helped to develop Cheyenne Mountain Charter Academy. His contributions to education were recognized nationwide when he was appointed to the National Assessment Governing Board, demonstrating his competence and commitment to raising educational standards across the country his contribution to Colorado and its towns cannot be emphasized. His leadership, vision, and dedication to service have left a lasting impression that will continue to inspire and guide future generations. As we commemorate Keith King, we honor his life's work and the enormous impact he had on the lives of many. Tributes to Keith King.
Number 4. Bill Carr, an example of honesty and a mainstay of Florida Gators athletics, died at the age of 78, leaving a legacy that will be forever inscribed in the history of the University of Florida. As an All-American football player, a committed assistant coach, and an inventive athletic director, he made significant and complex contributions to Gators athletics. Born and reared in Gainesville, he returned home to leave a lasting stamp on the program that shaped him. During his playing career, he was recognized for his exceptional athleticism and leadership on the field, particularly during Steve Spurrier's historic 1966 Heisman season. His progression from player to coach and then to athletic director displayed his everlasting dedication to the Gators, inspiring generations of athletes with his vision and ethics. As athletic director, his foresight and determination helped to create the groundwork for what would become a college athletics powerhouse. His leadership throughout difficult times, such as leading the program through moments of crisis, demonstrated his tenacity and unfailing commitment to maintaining the highest standards. Beyond the field and administrative offices, he was an outspoken opponent of college athletics' changing landscape, notably the ramifications of name, image, and likeness legislation. His incisive remarks demonstrated his thorough comprehension of the sport's essence and his concern for athletes' well-being. His legacy is not only the records he achieved or the championships he won for the Gators, but also the people he impacted and the community he helped to build. His enthusiasm for the game, commitment to teaching, and love for the Gators community will be remembered. Tributes to Bill Carr Number 3. Hage Geingob, Namibia's pillar of stability and democracy, died at the age of 82 while undergoing cancer treatment, leaving a legacy of commitment to his country's sovereignty and growth. As Namibia's third president since its independence in 1990, his tenure was distinguished by his unrelenting dedication to maintaining the political and economic stability in Namibia. Before becoming president in 2015, his life was a model of persistence and fortitude. His years in exile as an anti-apartheid activist molded his vision of a Namibia that might thrive under self-government, free of the shadows of German and South African control. His leadership positions, first as Namibia's first prime minister, and then from 2008 to 2012, were marked by efforts to integrate Namibia into the global world while building national unity. His diplomacy stretched beyond Namibia's borders, connecting Africa and the rest of the world. His interactions with Western nations in Asia demonstrated his belief in Africa's critical position on the world arena, fighting myths that aimed to undermine the continent's agency. Namibia, under his leadership, maintained stability and progress while contending with substantial socioeconomic disparities. His vision for Namibia, one of prosperity and equality for everyone, is a powerful call to action for future leaders. As Namibia and the world mourn Hagagaingab's death, his contributions to his country's freedom and progress will not be forgotten. Tributes from world leaders demonstrate the respect he earned internationally, demonstrating his impact both at home and abroad. Tributes to Hege Gengab. Number 2. Charles Uda, whose varied talent graced cinemas and theaters around the world, died at the age of 38. A creative force, his artistic adventure began in 2002, marking the beginning of a career that would see him become a renowned actor, writer, director, TV host, voiceover artist, and singer. His first step into acting with the play Luanda Man of Stone laid the groundwork for a successful career spanning two decades. His versatility shined through in the 15 plays and seven musicals in which he appeared, playing characters ranging from Tony in Boy Gets Girl to Joseph in Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. His performance as Ernest Everhard in The Iron Heel and roles in Out of Africa, Journey Through Magical Kenya, highlighted his outstanding talent. Perhaps most notably, he appeared in over 12 seasons of Makutano Junction, 
as well as writing countless episodes. In 2010, he and the show's production team received the World Media Award for Education. His television credits included Better Days, Discovery Plus, and Salem, among others, and he shared the Kalasha International Award for Best Television Host with Sarah Hassan for Discovery Plus. His directing abilities were very impressive, garnering him the Best Director Prize at the Film Lab Awards for Who Are You? His engagement to former BBC broadcaster Chiru Moriyuki in September 2023 reflected his active personal life, which was full of love and creativity. As we remember Charles Uda, we celebrate a life committed to the arts, a career that impacted many people, and a legacy that will inspire future generations. His achievements to theater, television, and film were more than just performances. They reflected a truly impassioned soul. Tributes to Charles Uda. Today's top headlines. News 1. Mike Gill, a respected former Trump administration official, unfortunately died in a carjacking incident in Washington. Gill, noted for his dedicated service as the Commodity Futures Trading Commission's chief of staff, was attacked in his car. This string of carjackings has brought to light the Capitol's growing violence and carjacking rates, raising concerns among both residents and policymakers. Gill's family, friends, and colleagues grieve his death, remembering him as a loving husband, father, and man of integrity and love. His untimely death highlights the critical need for immediate action to stem the city's escalating tide of criminal activity. News 2. The 66th Grammy Awards in Los Angeles spotlight female talent with SZA leading nominations. Hosted by Trevor Noah, the event promises historic wins and performances by top artists including Joni Mitchell and Billy Joel. Potential record-breaking moments could see Taylor Swift or SZA making history. The Barbie soundtrack also shines with 11 nominations. The evening will celebrate music's best, marking a significant year for female artists in the industry. News 3. Jeremy Renner is eager to return to the Marvel Cinematic Universe as Hawkeye after a severe snowplow accident. In an interview, he expressed readiness to reprise his role, highlighting his recovery journey and the support from his Marvel co-stars. Renner, who suffered significant injuries, emphasized his focus on health and wellness, viewing recovery as a lifelong process. He also shared gratitude for the support received during his recovery, particularly from fellow MCU actor Anthony Mackie. Renner remains optimistic about his future, both in his personal recovery and his potential return to the MCU. News 4 a Bollywood actress faced intense criticism after staging her own death to spotlight cervical cancer awareness. Poonam Pandey, who deceived fans with a death announcement on Instagram, later revealed her stunt, aiming to highlight cervical cancer's preventability through HPV vaccination and early detection. While Pandey's intent was to raise awareness, the public and her followers condemned the method, calling it a disrespectful misuse of a serious health issue for publicity. Despite the backlash, Pandey defended her actions, stressing the importance of her message and directing attention to a dedicated website for fighting cervical cancer. This bold approach sparked a mix of outrage and dialogue about cancer awareness and celebrity responsibility. News 5. After divorcing Joe Manganiello, the acclaimed actress Sofia Vergara is navigating the waters of single life with optimism. In a recent reveal, the Modern Family star shared her perspective on dating and her openness to new relationships, emphasizing her desire not just for a husband, but a partner to share in life's joys. Despite the challenges of her recent divorce, Vergara's spirits remain high as she embarks on this new chapter, ready for both fun and companionship. With a rich life experience behind her, Vergara's journey ahead promises to be as vibrant and fulfilling as ever. News 6 Demi Moore shared delightful family photos in a heartwarming celebration of their youngest daughter Tallulah's 30th birthday, showcasing a joyful Bruce Willis amidst the festivities. The cherished moments captured Bruce, dressed casually, enjoying quality time with Tallulah and Demi in a serene garden setting. 
Despite facing health challenges, including a diagnosis of frontotemporal dementia, Bruce's spirits were high as he was surrounded by love and support from his family. Demi, reflecting on their current journey, emphasized the importance of embracing the present and finding beauty and joy in their experiences. The Willis Moore family continues to share their journey, expressing gratitude for the overwhelming support they've received. News 7. Auburn's Johnny Broom had an unexpected encounter with Morgan Freeman during a basketball game against Mississippi, mistaking the acclaimed actor for a fan attempting to distract him. After trying to save a ball and feeling someone tug at his jersey, Broom brushed the person away, only to discover it was Freeman, a Mississippi fan, in the front row. Apologizing for his mistake, Broom expressed his admiration for Freeman, who reassured him to just keep playing. This moment of surprise and humility highlighted Broom's respect for Freeman and added a memorable twist to Auburn's victory over Mississippi. Number one, Barry John, a name synonymous with rugby brilliance, died at the age of 79, leaving a legacy that has permanently altered the sport. Known affectionately as the King, John's mastery on the rugby field, particularly during his legendary exploits for Wales and the British and Irish Lions, cemented his place in rugby history. His rise from a country lad to a global rugby star demonstrates his unrivaled skill, dedication, and enthusiasm for the sport. His influence extended beyond the rugby pitch. He became a cultural figure, receiving praise comparable to that of George Best in football. His key part in the 1971 Lions historic Test Series victory over the All Blacks in New Zealand demonstrated his tremendous talent, making him a household figure. With 25 caps for Wales, John helped win three Five Nations crowns, a Grand Slam, and two Triple Crowns, demonstrating his unwavering spirit and leadership. Despite his spectacular rise, his choice to resign at the pinnacle of his career at 27 left many fans wanting more. Nonetheless, this decision did not decrease his influence on the sport or his supporters. His collaboration with Sir Gareth Edwards and contributions to the 1968 and 1971 Lions Tours were watershed moments in rugby history, indicating his enormous influence on the game and his colleagues. Today, we remember Barry John as more than simply a rugby legend. He was a man whose life and career served as a beacon of excellence, inspiring countless players and fans all over the world. His legacy is more than just the scores he scored or the matches he won. It is the passion, grace, and sportsmanship he gave to rugby. Tributes to Barry John.